one in the previous lecture we have discussed about the pfr which was the plug flow reactor now in this lecture we will discuss about the pbr which is the peak bed reactor peak bed reactor peak bed reactor o peak bed reactor in the peak bed reactor it is like a pipe or the plug flow reactor but here there is some catalyst particle or adsorbent particle usually there is a some catalyst particle and on the surface of this catalyst particle the reaction taking place so suppose a enter to the reactor it interact with the catalyst particle and b is produced which come out from the reactor so this is the pbr reactor it consists of catalyst particle these are the catalyst particle these are the catalyst particle so on the surface of these catalyst particle the reactant a is converted into b now usually the rate of reactant a in the case of homogeneous reaction is denoted by ra which was written for the plug flow reactor pfr usually in the pfr the homogeneous reaction taking place usually the homogeneous homogeneous reaction taking place in the pfr but for the heterogeneous reaction the rate of a is denoted by r a dash and usually the heterogeneous reaction taking place the heterogeneous reaction taking place in the pbr in the pbr reactor the heterogeneous reaction taking place now we can relate these two rate by density of the catalyst o as we know that rate of a in the case of pbr is denoted by r a dash which is equal to mole of a per kilogram of catalyst per kilogram of catalyst per unit time and for the homogeneous reaction the rate of a was denoted by r a which is equal to mole of a per unit volume of catalyst per unit time now now these two rate can be related by the density of the catalyst o like the r a was r a dash was uh, mole of a can uh, converted on per kilogram of catalyst per unit time and the r a was mole of a per unit volume per unit time now when we multiply suppose mole of a per kilogram of catalyst per unit time then multiply by the density of catalyst which is kilogram of catalyst per cubic meter of the catalyst per cubic meter volume which is equal to this cancel with this we will get mole of a per cubic meter and two time which is nothing but r a and rate of a for the homogeneous reaction in the p in the p f r so rate of a dash rate of a in the case of the pbr which is r a dash when multiply by the density of the catalyst we will get the r a r a which is denoted by r a so this is the relation for this is the relation between r a dash and r a now now what will be the mole balance for the pbr reactor o for the design equation of pbr the first step is write the mole balance o 
As we know that the PBR is this type of reactor, here these are the catalyst particle. Now to write the mole balance, we consider the cross sectional, the small cross sectional area in the PBR. Here, this is the small cross sectional area of the PBR. This is the small cross sectional area of the PBR. This was the cross sectional area of the PBR. These are the catalyst particle. These are the catalyst particle. These are the catalyst particle. Suppose reactant A enter into this small area small weight of the catalyst. This hole is denoted by delta W, small weight of the catalyst. The small weight of the catalyst. So, it is so small that the rate that the rate of A here is constant. So, it is so small weight of catalyst that the rate of A here in this area is constant. In this volume is constant. So, suppose if A the flow rate of A enter into this area of the pack bed reactor, which is F A W. Now, here the outlet A was F A with some W plus delta W. W plus delta W. So, the general mole balance equation for this small volume or for this small weight of catalyst can be written as the general mole balance for every design equation. In this case, the general mole balance for the PBR reactor is input minus output minus output plus generation. This generation is equal to accumulation. Now at steady state, the accumulation term is zero. The accumulation term is zero. So input minus output plus generation is equal to zero. So this this is the general steady state equation for the PBR reactor. O state. Now, we can write in the term of component A, we can write this equation in the term of component A for the peg bed reactor. Like we can write it F A at some rate of catalyst minus F A W plus delta W plus R A and to dw into weight of catalyst. Change in weight of catalyst is equal to zero. Now, in the case of take bed reacted, the rate is denoted by Ra dash. Now, in the small area, in this small volume or in this small cross sectional area, or in this small weight of catalyst, the rate of reactant was constant. So this is the delta W length of the catalyst. So in this small weight of catalyst, the rate of reactant A is constant. So we can write this is the F A naught here is F A F W and this is the F A. If w plus delta W. W plus delta W. Now, this is the inlet, this is the outlet, this is the generation term. So, we can write this above equation is A W minus F A W plus delta W plus R A M2 change in the catalyst weight which is delta W. So, 
This relation can be rearranged like R A change in width is equal to F A W plus delta W minus F A into W. So, we can rewrite this equation. Suppose this is equation 1. So, this equation 1 can be also, this equation can also be written as, written as F A W plus delta W minus F A W divided by which was R A dash and to be W. So, it can also be written as F A W plus delta W minus F A W divided by R A is equal to D W. Now, this suppose this is equation number 2. Now, when the length or the weight of catalyst is very small, suppose the length of the catalyst or the weight of catalyst or the mass of catalyst when very small or when this length is very small, so dW, so dW will change to differential form dW is so is delta W tend to 0 then equation 2 will be written as df a dy by dw is equal to r a dash so for any general for any general reaction the differential form for the PBR reactor is F F I change in the flow rate of component I divided by change in the rate of catalyst is equal to the rate of conversion of component I. This is the differential form of mole balance for the pack bed reactor. Now we can return the integral design equation for the fake bed reactor also. So, rearrange this equation, this equation, we will get R, suppose in term of component A, this will become DFA, divided by, this will become RA. So, this is RA is equal to DW. Now, integrate this equation. This is integral at start the weight of catalyst is 0 w is equal to 0 suppose at start for the whole bit of catalyst at start this is the catalyst at start the catalyst was 0 weight of catalyst was 0 and at some and at last the weight of catalyst was w at l is equal to some length at final at the end of the reactor, the weight of catalyst is W. And this is the where weight is 0 of the catalyst. So, at start, the weight was 0 and the flow rate of the A was FA naught. The weight, when the weight was 0, the flow rate was FA naught. Of A was FA naught. When the weight become full or the final weight or at the end of reactor, the flow rate of A was F A. It was changed from F A naught due to the reaction on this weight of the catalyst or this weight. So, at weight is equal to W, the F A will become F A. So, this is the integral e design equation for the fake bed reactor. We can also integrate this final limit minus initial limit will be equal to W is equal to F A D F A divided by minus R A. Sorry, this is R A dash. This is the 
or I dash. So this is the R A dash and F A not. Okay, not. And this minus term occurs because here the limit changes F A and F A not. Here the limit was F A not and this was F A. So this is the integral equation for the peg bed reactor. Uh, this can also be this is this is also the integral equation. This is the integral mole balance for the PBR reactor. Thanks.